Do not try anything you're about to see at home. Trust us, we're on YouTube. We're a big deal. Hello and welcome to, is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Jory Karen. And I'm your mom, this cycle, I'm telling it's really messed up. This item right here is a Star Wars bobblehead. His name is Forlom, and he randomly was in the background of one of the scenes. Now we're going to randomly put him in the background of one of our microwaves. He actually will have more airtime in this little episode than he did in all of Star Wars. It smells like the All hands to the deck. Nobody likes roasted nuts. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ventilation is key. What are you doing? Look at out! Stop it, stop it. The mask! They do nothing! The tip will shield it actually works! Does it still work? You're dumb. 2.6. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is not a concern. And that's why we hide behind this giant tinfoil shield to protect our nuts because nobody likes background characters. What's going on, microwave? Okay. We have these fans circulate the air, and as always, our IntelliWave oven, Melissa. In goes the experiment. No, please don't kill me. Yeah, no, no. I want to roll in the next Star Wars movie. Yeah, no, no. The only one, the only person less likely to get a roll in the next Star Wars movie is Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Maybe I don't think so. <laughs> he was in episode five, so let's put it in there for five minutes. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's do this. I can't even see Forlum. Can you guys? No, not He's really. smoking. Oh. What the hell? Did he fall over? Oh, no, no. I see him. This is exciting. It will be. It will be. You will be. You will be. That would lead them back home. I don't even see anything sparking. Like, I thought for sure the metal spring inside Forlom's bobblehead would spark, coil, and, and go off like a hyperdrive. And he'd be from here to Tatooine in no time. But he's just hanging out, bobbling his head. Bobble, 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 bobble. Mama, well, minor character in Star Wars. Bobble, 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 bobble. No respect from the Jedi. Lots of smoke. I think, I think there's a fire in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, there is. There's definitely a lot of orange, so it's either that or... Oh, hey, yeah, oh, oh, holy hell, I killed the microwave. Isn't it weird? Why did you kill the microwave? Take off. Why did I turn it off? Yeah. Are we supposed to keep it on? Yeah, no one told you to turn it off. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting take on a Star Wars character. It smells like nail yeah, polish. Me. Well, his, his, his head is definitely not going to bubble too well anymore. It looks like he just has a tumor head. Yeah. Turn him upside down. See if he'll still bubble. Oh, he still bubbles. <coughs> Turn him right side up. See if he, uh... Well, we're actually making new bubble heads. We're recycling. There are now tumor heads. All of you environmentalists out there, we're recycling right now. So you may be wondering, is it a good idea to microwave a forlom thing? And yes, it is. Because who the hell even knew that forlom existed before this episode? If you knew that Forlom existed, leave a comment below, and we will call you a liar. Also, get a girlfriend. Yeah. Your door. Yeah. Even I didn't so, know Forlom existed. Good idea. And that's about it for this episode of Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. Wait, other side, clap like a man, <laughs> a, a, a heterosexual man, uh -huh. there you go, I want you to spike those reds my friend.